today's video, I'm testing out some of these anodized aluminum business cards just to try and get my settings correct. And I was just going to show like how I work out my settings for it. These are double-sided ones as well. I just got these off eBay, anodized aluminum business cards. Up the top here, underneath laser tools, you can see material test. So now with this, you can pick your min minimum and maximum speeds that you want the test to be at. What I suggest doing first is go to edit material settings and check that everything's, make sure it's on fill if you want to fill it or line if you want to, you know, cut a line. So I want it to fill uh, lines per inch. I'll put this to 300. Okay, so on here, the count, 10 by 10, that's how many squares that there is going to be. And this is parameters, so this one is the speed it's going to control. So I'm going to take this to 10,000 maximum. And I'll do 1,000 minimum. 5 millimeters, that's the size of each square. And this is the, where it is on the laser, I'll show that in a second. Um, the power, same thing, this is 10% uh, power, one minimum, to 100%. So if you're doing a 10 count, it's basically going to go up in 10s. So once you've got all this correct, so I'm happy with what that is. I'm not sure it'll all fit on one card, but I might have to put two under there. First, I'm going to click preview, just to make sure everything looks about right. And you can see there it's going up. 1000 speed at a time and it's going up 10% power at a time. Okay, so I'm going to click frame while it with the inside the material test generator box and it should frame where it's going to go. So you can see it's going to take me two cards to get all the powers. From here now, I can just put my glasses on and click start. So Yeah, and you can see there, I mean, around the 8,000 speed and the 20 power is probably the cleanest one that I see. This is the whole, you know, this is going to etch all of that. So what I'm going to do is, with my calipers, I'm going to measure the width, 2.127. For the width up here, uh, I'm going to put 2.2, .2, just so it comes just slightly over the edge. Now I know that's the right width. My best setting on there, or the one I'm going to go with, was a 6,000 speed and a 20 power. This image has already been div divvered, so pass through is on. Normally you pick a uh, image mode, but because I've done it in image R, pass through on. Okay, so I'm going to hit frame on here. And you can see that's where it's framing. So you want to go by the nozzle and not the... I'm going to rest this right against this side and just move the honeycomb into place. So that looks about good to me. I'm going to click start and let that do what it's got to do. It does do a very nice detailed job on the photos and you can see just doing that one test and now I've got perfect settings really. And there might be a little bit of improvement but you can see it's removed everything that wanted removed. So yep, yeah, just a quick video to show that and once again thanks everyone for liking and subscribing and watching and I'll put out another video as soon as possible. Thank you very much.